Afternoon. This is Nita, Emmy's panda with the timepiece garden, and she's run off around the side of the house chasing a critter. And yeah, I'm gonna stay in the house and paint most of the day. Put in a movie, something like that. It's uh, 65 degrees outside right now. It's, uh, my high is only gonna be 67 up here on the mountain. Um, so it's chilly. You can see from my spinners, we've got wind. Um, there's a, a high wind advisory. Um, and a, and a no burn ban, and I mean, just all kinds of stuff going on. We d I did get a little rain yesterday. Um, you know, enough to know that it had rained. Um, but, I don't know, not enough to actually fill anything. And even in the bird bath, it's, it's not full. But there's a little bit of water in it. Um, there's Miss Panda Pears. There's Mommy's girlfriend. There's mama's girlfriend up there, Bears. I do, you know. I, do, I know it's your mama's best girlfriend. Now, get the water. Good girls, huh? Good girls. So, yeah. I think it's going to be a stay in the house kind of day. You know, Panda doesn't mind. She's, she's a black dog, you know. The sun warms her coat up just fine. Chasing squirrels is awesome on a cool day. Just not for mom. So I had thought I was going to, uh... The initial plan was use today to go ahead and take down where I'd put up the shade covering around the uh, elderberries. You know, yeah, I'm just going to zoom in. I'm not walking all the way back there. Way back there. Where are they at? Yeah, right there. There they are. Shade covers. Yeah, they're still up. They're still standing. Again, one by fours. They're not meant for construction. If we were to walk back there, you could see that they're starting to warp. Um, but yeah, it's too windy. I'm not going to get out there with the ladder and tools and, and have it collapse or blow over on me type thing. You know, or blow over and, and damage the electric fence. It's just not where I want to go. So, we're just stay in the house and paint some gourds. All right, well, y'all have an awesome day, and Miss Pan and I will talk to you later. So just so you see, this was the smallest of all of the watermelons. Um, and you can see he's, he's, he's got a ripe center, you know. And um, had he been out there any longer, you can tell by the spot there. He'd probably start to have gone bad. He wasn't going to get any more riper than he is right now. That could also just be a, a row of seeds under the ground. Um, but he smells good. It smells like really fresh watermelon. So, awesomeness. Talk to you in a few.